Oh, uh, he's a very good player. He occasionally, Jason, is a little too careful. I'd like to see him bust out and make a couple of mistakes. Oh, now, I'm saying that as an announcer, not as a coach. <laughs> well, you get to do that. Now. I get you don't to have do to worry that. about winning. I have lost one in four years. That's right. <laughs> now, it's, by the way, the atmosphere, it's what we came to see. Tremendous. Everybody's jacked up. Young versus old. That's a, that's a storyline for the night. Five senior starters for Iowa State and a lot of freshmen for Fran McCaffrey and Iowa at four and five with some losses they'd like to have back, including one to Omaha already. Iowa State, a loss to Cincinnati in overtime last week. Well, you know, and the fact they don't have Tyler Cook for the last four games, they're outstanding freshmen, six foot eight, second leading scorer on the team, has caused, a, honestly, a death in, it, in them as a team. Matt Thomas yeah. in the corner on the find from Deontay Burton. Right before the game, you and I both saying the same thing. He got better and better every year. Matt Thomas can play, can really shoot the basketball. Yeah, he was a starter a couple of years ago, off and on. Last year, full-time starter as Jock spins that out. I like the shot, though. And he's going to take enough on him. Nice play. And a block on the back end. Isaiah Moss got back there along with Jock defensively as Holden had it rejected. You know what I like about this? He didn't give up on the play. You saw the block, but he didn't give up on the play. That's how he brought the shot. Oh. Nice play. Here's Penzer, the freshman from Dubuque, getting fouled on the way up. Boy, has he had a nice early start to his career, Cordell Penzel. Yeah, he's come out of nowhere. You know, it's happens. Tyler Cook goes down and out for two games, or four games, excuse me. He's stepped in, averaging 11 points total, but probably about 14 during the stretch. And he's a much-needed lift for Fran uh, McCaffrey's team. They need somebody like him in the middle now. By the way, one point I was going to make, I love Iowa State. They're a veteran team. But that gives you an idea. They don't have a rim protector. So when someone gets to the rim, you know, it's going to be tough to play them. And that's why I think, I think all night long, if they can, I was going to attack the rim. There isn't much size for Iowa State. It's a lot of other good things, but not size. Does that hurt you more as Iowa State, a team that likes to get in transition? Well, they're going to try to create a fast pace. So you're going to, <laughs> if you run fast, the other folks are going to rest too. You're 100% right. And, 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 uh, Morris nearly traveled, and it's a timeout. Timeout, yeah, Iowa State. One, get it over with one second. So very early, we'll step aside. It's 3-1, Iowa State over Iowa in the 70th meeting. I overpack, but my guy knows what to bring. Like Viagra single packs for ED. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain or adempus for pulmonary hypertension. Your blood pressure could drop to an unsafe level. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease or loss in vision or hearing. Ask your doctor about Viagra single packs. We know who's in, Washington, Alabama, Ohio State, and Clemson. Iowa had a lot to say about that with a win over Michigan late in the regular season as Iowa State, off the timeout, has a travel against Morris. And, Coach, we saw Iowa put on the pressure something they were working on yesterday. Yeah, and the biggest problem they've had with it early, they either stay in one spot and allow the man to make a pass. They either get it back and protect or close. Great job closing that time at half court. And you talked about Monte Morris kind of in between as a scorer and distributor. We just saw it on that possession. As I said, I don't want a lot of turnovers because he's wonderful with the ball. I'd like him, though, to be a little more aggressive. I would like to see him attack more. You know what I'd like him to do? I'd like him to start believing he's really good because he is. <laughs> like that guy, Peter yeah, Jock, guy. right to the rim. And, and I didn't mind him doing that, by the way. He may have missed the shot, but he just, just might miss time to speak. There's an aggressive move by Thomas, and he's got all five. I keep saying it's about believing. It's about believing. He's very willing to put it on the deck. Thomas has transformed as a player, the senior out of Wisconsin. Yeah, I, I really like this. I mean, I think that Thomas comes in, understands, don't go within the size that Iowa has, pulls up with that jump shot. I mean, that's a terrific shot. A lot of kids, Jason, don't have that now. Three, a drive, but the pull-up jump shot, Rip Hamilton, Ben Gordon, some of the kids we had, Ray Allen when he was young, they could really make those shots. Why do you think that's shot. going away? Because everybody wants to shoot a three. They stand up all day in practice, something like that. <laughs> and Jordan Bohannon knocks it down from long range. Yeah, and it's the coach you say, oh, yeah, great shot. <laughs> well, he says, Coach Calhoun, it's worth three instead of two now. Yeah, exactly. They keep telling me that. That math always gets in the way. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it becomes a reality check. 
Thomas off the heel. Rebound he from us. That first time he didn't have his feet set, so he's drifting left, shooting right. Here's Bohannon. I like Bohannon. You know, he's a young point guard. He kind of playing, has to play the ball by himself. He's the only primary handler. He's the only real handler we have out there. He's the youngest of four. As Moss turns it over, you might remember his brother who played at Wisconsin, Jason Bohannon, a very good oh, player very good play. with the Badgers. Steve Prohm's second season at Iowa State went to the NCAA tournament last year and has really done a fine job. Yeah, and he's a, you know what? Coming in after, after the <laughs> Freddie, who everybody likes Holbrook, everybody likes him. Great guy, the mayor. The mayor. But he handled that so well by giving, you know, his fellow coach praise. How about Burton recovering there for two? Uh, you don't know, say, let's draw that one up. That's offense by accident. But once again, if in fact you don't give up on a play, good things happen. Pemzel throws the shoulder in and scores. Cordell no Pemzel. Rim protector at Iowa State. And, and one, they're very good defensively. They can't allow that like, penetration of the ball either by pass or dribble. That's time by pass. Well, you said it early. There's no defense back there as a big for yeah. Iowa State and Fran McCaffrey's attacking it. Yeah, they just don't. They're just not big. Holding 6-8. I mean, they're not a very big team. Peter Chuck for three. His 33rd three of the year in 10 games. I, we got another guy playing here. We got actually six and five. <laughs> the, the fans are very close to the court, as you see here. No, he's on the court, Jason. <laughs> Monte Morris, the response for Iowa State. You think, you think the pace is good enough? I think so. It's fun to watch. They're going to be up and down well, all I night love, long. As you know, I love fast break basketball. I, oh, I yeah. think it's the best way to play. And and now what's going to happen is if they keep going this way, someone's going to have to play defense. That's who eventually will win the game. Iowa averages about 87 points a game. Iowa State around 85 points a game for this season. Thomas, the toss into the corner. That's an air ball yeah. for Naz Mitru Long. Yeah, I didn't know if he was truly set to do it that time. Go to the rim. Well, Isaiah Moss slicing through for two. And without question, he was talking about attacking the rim, attack the rim. Great job. Moss, the freshman from Chicago and the very prestigious Simeon Academy. One of the most unique players in college basketball. Burton is yep. a really unique player. He's got a he's got a power forward party at 6-5. Thomas the score there. there. Burton Thomas came in. Burton came in as a guard and he's almost morphed into a forward. Well, he hasn't morphed. He's grown. He's, he's about 255. So the morph thing is okay, but he's actually grown into a case. Like, that's what we call it now. You put on a couple of well, pounds, you morph. Because you guys went to Syracuse and have a, you know, went to those English classes. Yeah. I miss those. I just said he grew into it. We only caught a piece of him. Jock is fouled on the way up and he'll get two free throws when we come back. Thomas called for the foul. That's his second personal. Peter Jock trying to build on Iowa's lead when we return to Iowa City. Other people score, not just one. Right now, Iowa, by the way, four of the five guys have stood. That's balanced. That's what they need tonight. If they get that for the whole game, you think they win? I think they have a chance to win, certainly. I mean, I mean, I like the way, way they're approaching the game defensively. I know they've given up points, but I like the fact they're aggressive, and they're always going to be great. They're, there's nothing wrong with Iowa's offense, trust me. They may be young, but they get good players, offensive players. Avon Wagner I to like Nicholas Bear. Nicholas Bear is president of his class. His sister is president of her class. His brother is the president of his class and was a walk-on. Now we're in the scholarship. I call him Mr. Activity. He works his butt off. From Bettendorf, Iowa, here in the state. Walked on, that's it. Yep, got the scholarship this past spring. That didn't happen to me, those six, eight kids come by office. Coach, can I walk on? <laughs> that, did, that didn't happen no, no, for you? Not, no. I guess it's my charming personality. I'm not sure <laughs> Weiler Babb in the corner misses the shot, and Bohan in the rebound. If, I, if, if I'm Fran McCaffrey, I feel pretty good about where the game. They're taking threes. Burton's the only guy that's going inside, and we're we getting to the rim though. And Wagner called for the travel. Yeah, it was going to be a foul on yeah, Burton. It would have so. been his second. We'll talk about that bump move along the, uh, during this game. I, I, I just don't think the, the, the travel touch football fullback which we'll talk about in this in the game of basketball is the best thing. That one might have been a travel, might not have been. But you and I have seen so many bumps. Oh, yeah. That caused uh, travel. Well, in the old Big East where you used to coach, uh, bumps were laughable, right? Well, what they said, he didn't bleed, coach. I mean, <laughs> that was kind of the rule. Number 33, Solomon Young has checked in down low off a hand injury as that goes off of Tom Eads, and he's not playing for the Cyclones, so it's a turnover to Iowa. Yeah, it, 
it, it, right now, uh, they're trying to get some answers inside, to be honest with you. They really are. I mean, uh, I, 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 I think the game, if I'm Iowa, I'm feeling pretty good at the way things are going. Just because of the pace, pace and where the, the shots are coming from. And, and, and they're not getting easy baskets. They're, you know, they'll make three, certainly. This is the guy who make baskets. Shot. Right oh, boy. Off yeah. the bounce. How about that? Well, I watched, I watched shot, him two you? and a half hours yesterday. And to be honest with you, he did that all day yesterday. He's a beautiful shooter. I mean, you know, the people used to talk about Ray Allen being a great shooter, and they wanted to watch him. I like watching this coup as much as I like Ray and Ben Gordon, some of those great shoes we had. Jock just bumped Monte Morris off his spot. Donovan Jackson, now, the junior, off the spin, left it short. I like the defense. He bodied him, legally there, no call. I liked it, nice play. Bear all the way for two and a foul for Iowa. What do you think, Jason? What do you think? I think they're excited here in Iowa. And that's what I like. I love it. I love the excitement in the building. I like the way I was playing. How about Bear off the rebound, taking it all the way? Mr. Activity, I call him. Mr. Activity, and he is. You know, if you play hard, good things happen. Well, he had a big game. They lost to Villanova in the NCAA tournament. He had a big game there. He did. 15 points, four rebounds against a very strong team that ended up winning the national title. If I took two hours and 15 minutes of the practice yesterday, no one worked harder than he did. Is that right? I love watching kids like that. Who did you have that you can compare him to? Well, Kevin Freeman in a different way. Kevin Freeman was a kid playing on a 99 national championship team. There's a takeaway. Kevin play. All the way to the rim for two. They're going to build a statue of Bear by the time this night's over. <laughs> yep. Morris, step back. Too strong. Out of bounds to Iowa. Tell you what. Look at this trap. You've got to think about this. They didn't stay in the spot. They closed the trap, got another steal. And I think aggression defense will help them because they have to play, as we said before. They're giving up 47%. You can't do that. They're giving up 80-something points a game. You can't do that. This aggressiveness on defense is very important for them. For an Iowa State team that does not turn the ball over very much at all, it's that's just a, 10 that, a game. That's a great point. That's a great point. But uh, once again, look at, if you sit back against a good team, they're not going to turn it over. You've got to make them turn it over. Here's Dom Ewell, the junior from Germany, off to Williams into the corner with three to shoot. They get three more. Brady Ellingson into the game, knocks it down. Life is good. I will see. Oh, my goodness. They're playing good, though. I know they're making shots, but they're also very aggressive. In offensively and defensively. More tough defense, Morris long jumper, too much. You know what? I'd take that with a hand in his face. It's not a bad shot, though. You wanted them to be more aggressive with the shot. Yeah, I, I like but he can really go to the rim and create some stuff. If the ball's not going the hole early, you got to feel good by taking it to the rim. Nice move. Pimsel yeah, off the fade away, away yeah, yeah, yeah. and a foul on the rebounding action against Bear. Oh, hold on, I was number 51. Brady Allingson knocks down the three. You know, the trouble's supposed to be in River City, not in Iowa City. City. But yeah. tonight for the Cyclones. There is trouble in River City. The Hawkeyes doing some damage from long range, as they do quite a bit. They lead by double figures. For Jimmy V to donate, all donations benefit the V Foundation for Cancer Research. One in two men, one in three women will develop cancer. 1.7 million new cancer cases diagnosed and what Jimmy V has done for cancer and what you all have done for research watching here is welcome and we thank you. And it's special. It's really, really special. And I think that Jimmy V, special guy, and his cause has been a great man in life, may have even accomplished more in forming the V Foundation. Isn't it special amazing? Amazing. Well, we've got some excitement out here. Jimmy would be happy with He loved the game. And, and, and that's the penetration you go for. First penetration we've seen from Iowa State. There's one to shoot. 
Wilder Babb had to chuck it up, and it's one and done. Well, except for that two times of penetration, wonderful job of keeping the door shut. You know, it's almost like uh, you know, a farmer leaving his door open. You cannot allow the door and the fence to get into the lane. And I, I really think not only the primary defender at Iowa tonight is doing a wonderful job, I think the secondary has shown itself more to stop that penetration. That's a big key for them, because in the early part of the season, they have been doing that, like that. Like yeah, that. Yep. You cannot... They need the man in the corner to get the kick-up pass and then sprint out to recover to the shooter. And that drive from Naz Mitru Long came without Monte Morris in the game. Saturday, 3.15 Eastern, both Big 12 rivals, Nebraska and Kansas, are together at Allen Fieldhouse. Then, number five, Duke and UNLV in the hashtag Neon Hoops Showcase. First meeting of those two since the 91 Final Four, 25 plus years for Duke and UNLV since then. It seems impossible, I was at that game. Were you really? Yeah, I was, and, and uh, amazing, you think about it, amazing. I also should have been at the 90 game because we got beat on a Christian Layden buzzer beater in 90 when Duke played UNLV and got smoked pretty good in that first game. Well, I'll tell you what, the next year came back to win them. Christian Leitner buzzer beaters were going around. Yeah, year, it, it, it seemed like a, a bad disease. Yeah, <laughs> it was right. hitting everybody. <laughs> and he was a carrier, no question. Christian was. Nice pass. You. you know, this is so important schematically to get the ball inside. So important. I'm really impressed by what the way Iowa has come out, Jason. Sometimes you want the two days of practice, three days of practice, disappointing loss, or whatever it may be, to come out with the, an idea of how to beat another team. They have ideas to get the ball inside. And they've done it very well. And if you're going to say, you can't leave the open shooters. One thing, they, everybody, young as they may be, Iowa can shoot the basketball. This is a double team, by the way. Ewell, as they switch sides, there's an open man, Williams. You know, in the NBA, they always talk about a guy who can draw a double. We need a guy who can draw a double. Well, guess what? Peter Jock can draw, draw a double. He's been doing that quite a bit this year. Yeah. Still scoring about 24 points a game. Yep. Five to shoot here. Shot clock winding down. And what do we have? I thought it hit the rim, too. I thought that hit the rim. I'm not sure, but I'd like to have some... You'd like I, to look at it again? Yeah, I, I actually normally haven't had a, a great relationship. Now I do. <laughs> with the officials. Yeah, oh, really? Because I, well, I tried to help him. I, oh, you did? Yeah, Christian Charity will prevail. And I thought it'd be a good idea <laughs> as a kid from Boston went to Mass on Sunday, so I helped the officials. Right. In, in... They didn't see it quite that way, Jason. I don't know why. Well, it might have been the tone. I'm not sure. We take I'll a look it. at it again, and... I don't know, Coach. I don't know. It's close. A, well, it depends who it was. It was, it was me. It definitely hit. Uh -huh. It wasn't me. Of course not. Let's see if we can get another Yeah, if it was angle. Lou or Bayheim or somebody like that. It didn't yeah. hit the rim for sure. Just watch this. I, yeah, I, it's not hit. I don't think it, it hit the rim. Yeah. Good block, actually. So, it looks like there will be three on the shot clock. But uh, you were. You were very philanthropic to the officials. You well, were trying you, to help the thing them I found to the out, correct call. In all honesty, I remember talking to Jim Burr, a terrific official. And Jim Burr said, I get on him one day, which is not a Just one day? It's just one day. Yeah. One moment at one time. And, uh -huh. <laughs> in many, in many. But most importantly, I said something to him about a call. Yeah. He said, how do you think I feel? And oh. I thought it was, and because most of these guys, especially the guys who were in it for a long time, I mean, they love the game too. And they want to do the best job they can. I, you know, once again, as I said, I always felt that they needed a little bit of help. And I tried to provide that when I could. No, but honestly, it's kind of part of the game, you think about it. And, and I think you'd probably agree with this. Take it back 15 years. I mean, you'd have John with the white towel coming up. No, he didn't mean white, but John had the white towel. That's right. And, 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 and you know, in Bayheim and, and Louie down there yelling things from two feet high. And, well, I think coaches still do it, but they do it with their hands in front of their mouths now yeah, well, more often. I say, but he's branded, right? And, yes. And, I don't think the guys in the biggest are trying to brand themselves. <laughs> no, no, that's not part of the brand, I don't no, think. No. They're still talking this over on the ball that nearly hit the rim but did not. So three on the shot clock as it stands. Well, we, we, I got to remind them we have 20 and 9, 34. So we have 29 and 34 minutes to go. Yeah. Play on. You, you think you just go ahead? Well, you look at it. It is or isn't. I don't know what else they could be doing. I didn't see anything that would indicate it hits the rim from two angles. No, we got we got a clean look at it. Now they're checking the game clock to make sure that 9:34 is proper. It's amazing how we ever get through games in the past without all the monitors. It's amazing. I can't believe we were able to play 40 minutes. Do you remember the first game that had a monitor that you had? I probably didn't like it. You block it out <laughs> of your mind. Exactly. Here's Bohannon two to shoot. Bohannon yep. long jumper. Oh. 
Nice play. Ewell got a piece of it, and out it comes to Wyler Babb. Naz Mitru Long draws the block. But if they keep doing that, that's trouble. Iowa State getting to the rim now. Monte Morris has not been the point guard while this has been happening. Yeah, but but I think you and I both would admit that four of the guys can all handle the ball. Oh, absolutely. That's what makes him very good. The balance comes from the, the fact that they're multi-dimensional players. It's more of a coincidence than a cause and effect. I agree. Morris has been out of the game while Going Iowa State's getting to the rim. Going zone now, one to two. Mitru Long buries the three. He got an open look. Yeah. It's an important time. You got a lifetime to go, whole game to go, all kinds of things. But you don't want to, they're going to come back to some of you. Settle down, mm -hmm. Iowa, get a good shot. Well, certainly Iowa remembers last year, Iowa State came back from 20 down to win this game in the second half in Ames. Exactly. Drive and kick, you will open top of the key. I like the fact for a young team that took their time. As I said, Although I don't think they're young offense, but I think they're good offensive play. Here's the end, they gotta stop. This is no good, no shot on the three from Mitru Long. Oh, hold on. I think we have a fourth Zero official as well. The fans we have a fourth official and, and possibly is gonna put the white shirt on in about two minutes to uh, play for Iowa. When you are that close to the floor, you get some License. Yeah, I think, it's, I think a seatbelt would work. You're there. A seatbelt would work. Just for your convenience, sir. Yes. <laughs> Off the inbound, Burton. And it is Naz Mitru Long, who was out with a hip injury for most of last season. Now Morris back in at the point. The zone is trying to take away penetration. Morris, drive and kick, Mitru Long in the corner. And, and, and they live with a contested three. Good pass, but contested three. Good job by, good job by Iowa that time. Trying to change the they way. They changed it, exactly. They got stopped the penetration early, started to get penetrated on, and Fran, Fran, goes, Fran goes for the one, two, two. How about Peter Jock creating his own shot out of a double team? You know what? He's got a chance to certainly play for the next level. And a blocking foul call to the drive by Moss. Peter Jock, the senior, has been tremendous this season. He may be, he's a special shooter, he may be developing into a special player. Iowa with the lead, big. He does a terrific job, a little step back move against the double team. They had the one defender on his hip, two showed, and he still found his look. He's becoming not only a great shooter, but a player. You know, talking to Fran McCaffrey about that as Iowa State gets the steal, he said Peter Jock's role has changed as well as time has gone on as the Cyclones turn it back over. Jock, two years ago, seven points a game, 16 points a game last year, now nearly 24 per this season. And part of that is they've needed him more. Well, and I had a discussion with Fran about this yesterday. He's averaging 17, 18 shots a game. He said, we've kind of thought a little bit about 20. And I'm saying... He's that good, and if he draws, and I told you before, the NBA is always looking for guys who can draw doubles. And if he can draw a double here, he makes Iowa a much better team. When they get Cook back, you know, two more, another big guy to go with them. It's a very interesting young team, especially if Peter Jock can continue to even get better than him. He's already really good. Yeah, young kid, Tyler Cook, the freshman, out with a broken finger after six games. He hurt it in practice and likely will be out a couple more as Jock found his own shot again, this time off a step back. That's two step backs in a row, and that's a shot. A lot of questions, as you know, Jason, is can he get his own shot? And the answer right now, yes. All night tonight, yeah, he's got wonderful. his own shot. Just not a shooter, a guy can get his own. Mitru Long, Thomas rimmed it out. Yep. Iowa State basketball. Peter Jock. This time from long distance from two. And his freshman teammate, Tyler Cook, still out with that finger injury. It's wrapped up there, as you see. I saw the first couple games on tape. He got a real chance to be a terrific player. This is a young team that's only going to get better. And tonight, they're starting to show some defensive grit, which you love. 
They lost Jared Utah, among others, from last season. As that rebound comes into the arms of Wagner. He just went soaring through Iowa State for that board. Hustle points, playing hard, special, Jason. You know, it is a skill. Hard work is a skill. So many, a lot of players who are gifted certainly have it. But the great ones, the Larry Birds of the world, they have it <laughs> in tons, not in pounds. How much can you teach that? Well, you can develop a culture which only accept hard work, but the level that some guys work at the game, Ray Allen, Ben Gordon, some of the guys I've had, to make themselves into great players, I mean, that's a special gift. And when they carry it over to games like this, you become an awful lot better coach and your team gets an awful lot better quick. I love the, I love the way they're approaching the game tonight. You can't see them losing some of the games that they've lost this year. But they're growing, and they've got, we've got to allow them to grow. Burton? I like Burton. Knocks it down off the window. Deontay Burton, the transfer from Marquette. And, 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 and Fran said, as a kid, just find out who he is. He's come on light years. Not that he's ever a bad kid, but he's come light years. And you love seeing that. Well, and that's where the transfer rule does help. In it that does it help. Gets somebody into a new culture. No question. And, and you know where things might have been accepted before, different coaching changes and things. He found himself here, which is great for the kid. That's what this game's about. Hemsel had it knocked out of bounds off of Iowa State, eight to shoot. And Deontay Burton has six so far. Well, Burton can do a lot of things. He can post you up and get just a nice little bank jump shot. He, he elevates, get a shot off, and he's physically very tough. And Wagner. Oof. Throws his shoulder in and scores. How about Wagner? I like the move. Take it, as I said, keep attacking the rim. And if you and I will look up now, see 21 points for a team that's one of the highest scoring teams in the country. They're making shots, maybe motivated. And that's an illegal screen that, against Holden, his second personal. And it's so hard now in the game to teach kids, just stay. We'll get it next time. Pass on an illegal screen. You're talking about 20% yeah. of your he just, fouls here. Here it comes. He just has to get a little after the engine. Just stay there. We'll reverse the screen. We'll just come back at it. You don't need it right now, essentially, we can right? Get, we don't need the foul for sure. And we don't need you to get to third or whatever it may be. But we don't screen enough in the game anyways. And that, as you know, they, they call an awful lot of now. good pass. Hemsel brings it in. Took his time, that's for sure. To the rim, missed I, it strong. I like the move. I still like the move. And I clear out with that, with that right shoulder a little more, but I still like the move. Burton doing it himself, left it short, got it back and scored. I tell you what, say Burton. As I said, I spoke before, he can do a lot of things. And I told you, beyond the, the, the finesse skills he has, he has tough basketball player. I like him. Nine and a half points a game last no year. No small Julius Randall, I just was told, 100% of the money. Jock to Bohannon, 15 to shoot, and Burton takes that away. Well, he must have heard us talking about him because he's put on three really good plays. No good for Morris. I would like to see Morris if, if I'm Steve. I got to have you go in the rim. I got to have you feel the ball going through the hole. And he's looking for a shot much more on the Too jumper much. today Here as you. Wagner's fouled on his way to the rim. Tomorrow, NBA Friday doubleheader, James Harden and the Rockets squaring off against Russell Westbrook and Oklahoma City. Then 10.30, Suns and Lakers from Staples Center only on ESPN. That's the only place you can find the game. Coverage tips with NBA Countdown, charged by Mountain Dew at 7. Also streaming live on the ESPN app and on Watch ESPN. I would think Morris, uh, Jace, has to, has, to sweep, has to mix it up a little more. How he's so? not, well, he's just not a jump shooter. He's got to take a little more to the rim to get things going, get to the foul line. He's a good shooter. He's not a great shooter, but he can be a terrific player. A great player. Actually. You think he's got the ability to finish oh, yeah. as well. The, the problem, what happens is, is that everybody's telling him he's going to be more aggressive. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean more shots. It means more aggressive offensive plays. That's a for you and your yeah. Exactly. That foul is going to go against Wagner. That's his second personal. When you say aggressive, that can mean four or five different things to an offensive player. Someone's go, what can he do? He can go by you, pull up jump shot in the lane, but, but to sit back on a distance for him shot is not the thing he does best. He'll make that as, as a compliment to all the rest of his game. Thomas, catch and shoot. Yeah. I'll, I'll get Thomas back involved, because <laughs> he's shooting very well. He had seven very early in this game, and now 
puts in another as Peter Jock's fading away. Going to his left, shooting to his right a little bit. Just needs those legs straight because his hand is beautiful. Boy, the pace of this game is furious. Burton missed it. Jock the rebound. He traveled. That's a good call, Coach. He was out of control when he got the ball. Nice aggressive rebound, but you got to put it down. That is no question. And I'm, unfortunately for the folks here, I'm not a cyclone. But then again, I'm not a Hawkeye either, so I'm just calling the way I see it. I never did that before. You I never called did? the way I wanted it, ah, not the way that's I right. <laughs> Big difference. Burton for three. He thought he had it. Give it up, big fella. That's why he didn't he get did, it. He did, for the wrong team. Mitru Long all the way to the rack, missed it. And out of bounds to Iowa. You can't fault for what he did. You've got to take it to the rim. I like to play. Just got to finish it next time. Head was not up. Always have your head up, goes to the rim. Iowa leading by nine at home. <laughs> 16 minutes of this game. They've owned the game so far, tempo-wise. Well, but tempo-wise, but I'm going to tell you, there's two things you control every basketball game. Effort and attitude. You know, it's controlled your effort. And guess what? Their, their attitude tonight is, is, is a purpose of attacking both defensively and offensively, and their attitude is wonderful. They're staying. We had a blocked shot where a kid ran it down to block the shot. We have guys going to the floor. This is the Iowa team I'm sure that Fran hopes to become. Hopefully over the last few games where they've kind of struggled a little bit, they've learned something, Jason. What? And he's, effort is a big thing that they're showing tonight. Well, he's told us consistency is really the major well, issue, no, and it's and popped they, up everywhere. And that's young kids. I'll tell you where it hasn't popped up. Hasn't popped off physically because they're going to score against anybody. About 87 points a game this year for Iowa. As Peter Jock goes to work, and he's going to get called for the offensive foul. You know, it was, but did he flop? <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it's part of the game. So 11 points off the bench for Iowa as well. A grand total of eight separate scores. And we talked about Iowa State's balance. Bounce. The Hawkeyes are getting a lot from their bench. The last thing that Fred McCaffrey said to me last night, we need some guys to step off the bench, do something for us. Guess what? They have. Absolutely. So far today, in the 70th meeting all time between Iowa State and Iowa. Nice job on, on, on Mars. He's tough to stop. They did a very good job on him. Donovan Jackson, long jumper, too much. Solomon Young, the freshman with a rebound yeah, for the you Cyclones. Can't, you get a box out. Now he's going to go to the rim. Yep. He does. Morris left it short and batted out to Jock for Iowa. But you'd love to see him do it. I mean, you want to be finished. When you're watching the right things, eventually they're going to fall for you. And he has a real good move to the hole. Pretty good collapsing at the end by Iowa. Make sure he couldn't just clean and finish it. Bo Hannon now, the youngest of four basketball players in the family. And that goes out of bounds to Iowa. Could have been a jump ball maybe not held long enough his brother by the way matt made his television debut last night during the northern iowa game oh great on local television so maybe a future jim calhoun of the family oh, possibly as well. a jason Panetti. you never know you never will see he's gonna fall i think you're pretty sure that there's not gonna be a <laughs> no, 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 jason, yeah, no. for better for oh, worse nice play. Pemsel down low for two more you know i've liked him but you were first but there's something about that kid he knows what he is he doesn't try to be a three-point shooter. He gets in the paint and does good things. And that's a big, big plus for going against the team. And I said, start of the game. No rim protector. And I was staying as good as they are. And this foul is on Bowie, who's got his third foul already, the senior transfer from Northern Illinois. And how about Pemsel, a Big Ten body already as a freshman, don't you think? Yeah, and as I said before, when Tyler Cook comes back, they're going to have a pretty good freshman, as good as most anybody. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Just south of, uh, north of uh, Kentucky. Nice play. They attacked him in the pressure. Jock just got rid of it in time. Pencil sideswiped and fouled. Way, knows what he is, as opposed to taking the jump. How about the defense for Iowa tonight on Iowa State? Well, I'm just so impressed. I mean, once again, I've seen them enough times, talked to the coaching staff, everybody yesterday. So disappointed in defense. 46% field goal percentage defense they're giving up. That's awful. They're giving up almost 40% from three. But tonight, they're digging in, and that's what they're going to have to do. I mean, because I, I still maintain their offense will take care of itself. This kid on the line, 
No, they haven't been over the years. They haven't been known for defense, but tonight they dig in, and this kid at the line got a chance. And with I, Cook, who's really talented to come back, that'd be a pretty good duel inside. The one thing Pemsel is, it's not a defensive numbers there, not very good. The one thing Pemsel has struggled with this year is foul shooting, just 54% for the season in his first couple yeah. of months as a college basketball player, of I, I probably wouldn't go crazy, honestly, because his stroke is good. Yep. Yeah, I, I'd like his, his he, he's, he's got he's to fully extend get all on his toes, but I, I like it. Burton met by Ewell. And Ewell clears the rebound. Well, he's a glue guy. You know, the senior's been around, probably one of the more veteran players on the entire team, and he's a glue guy, and that's the kind of play he's going to make for them. A couple rebound. of years ago, he was a newcomer of the year for the Hawkeyes, born in Germany, Tom Ewell. Jock off the curl, and a foul called against Iowa on the rebound. Looked like yeah, Pemsel. Yeah. I'd like to see them battle, and very honestly, once the ball's clean and, and, and you didn't stop the other man from retaining the ball or getting the basketball, and you got to let them play on. A couple of games Saturday we need to tell you about. They're okay. good ones, too. 315 Eastern, Nebraska and Kansas from Allen Fieldhouse, and after that one's over, we're going deep into the 90s, <laughs> into the history books. Duke and UNLV getting together once again after the Tark Larry Johnson, Bobby Hurley days. How about the backcourt well, for the Kansas Jayhawks? Those right kids. there is top of the country. Mason can be, I mean, they're good. I mean, by the way, Kansas is pretty damn good as always. Bill's on a terrific job. By the way, who's doing that Vegas uh, uh, Duke game, was it? I, I think he said it. It could be anybody. Well, uh, we'll have to find out when you I, tune I, in. I, I think I got a letter from Dick Vitale. He's doing the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's requested a new partner already. Well, Moss good. in the corner for three. Feel good about themselves, Jason. Keith. Hustle attitude has made me feel better about themselves. It's made the crowd feel pretty good, too. I and Fran, Fran feels pretty good right about now. Eight separate scores for the Hawkeyes with their largest lead at 14. Good choice. Morris pushes it up for two. I gave it a good choice because he needs to do more of that. He's so tough to stop off the bus. He's got a nose for the rim. He really does. And, 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 you know, I, I think and after talking to him yesterday, He's going to believe how good he is. He's really good. He's going to, he's going to believe it, though, not just us. You think he's a little short there, maybe, in the belief? I think he's just too nice a kid. And it doesn't mean he can't be a nice kid. Kimber Walker, great people, Ray, Rip, all those guys. But, but you got to know, when it's all said and done, that you're a hell of a basketball player, because he is. That's deep. Jock. Oh, what a bounce for him. He had that red shot. Spun it right back in the hole. <laughs> Shoot his bounce, shoot his bounce. That's an eagle from Peter Jock. <laughs> they led by 20 last year, and Iowa State That's came right. back. Well, Iowa State was by dead by a long shot. 15 is a long way away. Morris on the kick. Wild shot from Jackson. And at the end of the first half, Iowa City's partisans are thrilled. Good stuff. Peter Jock in double figures already. Iowa, a 15-point lead, 44. Uh, is from Sudan, came over about 13 years ago to the United States and ended up actually playing for a former Hawkeye, Jeff Horner, at Valley High School and has really come on the scene for Iowa. About 24 points a game, one of the top scorers in the country, a preseason first-team player in the Big Ten. Well, he'll be, a, he'll be a player for anybody. He can really play. And, you know, as this young team developed, they need a guy like Peter Jock to play. He's got to play well for them. And he, obviously, he is. I love the fact that Fran McCaffrey got things off his bench. Steve doesn't depend upon that. Fran says we need that, and he got it tonight. And the fast break points are marvelous. I mean, it's amazing to me. 11-0 against a, and, a, and 20 minutes of basketball against a team that can really run like Iowa State. Well, we were talking about it during the break. Iowa State's been willing to run, but hasn't finished on the break tonight. They really haven't, right? But I'm going to give some credit. You know, a run down, a block from behind, a couple of really good things. There's Pencil going to work again down low using that big frame. Well, once again, he knows what he is. I know I've been repet repetitive as that, but if you look at all the players throughout the country, the guys who are really good, they know what they are. And he's, he's awfully good in that post. 
He's shooting 78% coming in as Moss going to get called for that foul. Pemsel, last three games, was 23 out of 27 from the floor. As a freshman, even that type of spurt is very difficult to do in your first college season, no isn't question. it? No question. Yeah, it really is. But, but once again, I, I think he knows what he... he, he he knows what he can do and he does it. And that, obviously, that's very important. What we got? What we got here, Jason? We have a foul against. No, they have a kick. A kick ball. Yeah. Uh, so Iowa State's going to keep it off the kick. Looked like there might have been a hold down there, too, I, that, but they'll get the kick. That's exactly what I thought it was. Thomas has been a very willing shooter. He does so off the screen from Burton and leaves it short. Great inside position on the rebound by Pence. Really good job. Talented freshman on a Dubuque, Iowa. As that goes over the backboard, Moss, maybe an early shot there. Too quick. Still moving, Tad. You get the same shot late in the clock as he got early in the clock. Let's try to get something better by probing the defense. Well, they do score a lot from three. Ten threes made per game, seventh in the nation coming in, and Iowa's six out of ten from three in the first half. As Mitru Long has that miss. And it looked like Holden was holding the man down low. Instead, it's going to be out of bounds. <laughs> Holden was holding, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to be your own name in <laughs> no, that exactly circumstance. No, exactly. But the bottom line is that a little bit of one 2, two pressure. Um, you know, he's done a nice job handling this. That's a foul against and, 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 Mitchell it's, Long. It's it, third. It, you know, and that's a bad foul. Because no sense reaching. And you, every official, all three can see you. You're out in the middle of the floor. He said, fellas, you're naked out there. You know, you can't bump a guy. Especially with the emphasis on freedom of movement, 100% as right. it is now. No question. So it's Bohannon who had three in the first half, eight scores for Iowa before halftime. What I like about Bohannon, he's run the team. Jock. That's deep. That's deep. Offensive rebound. rebound, Moss too strong. And out of bounds to the Cyclones. It's a very... Funny start to the half. Both teams are kind of trying to get themselves established, it looks like. What do you want to see from Iowa State offensively? What we miss on, I want to see Morris go to the hole. I want to see if they can get any inside game. Monte Morris cans a three. Well, you know, he got to the hole last time, did a good job that time, burying the jump shot. They're chasing him down every time they have double team. Denying Jock the shot. Yeah, two guys making sure someone else shoots it. And that's always, a, that would be a good idea. He's with Thomas down low here. They're on his side. Burton leaves him, so Jock has the ball. Off the step back again. That one faded on him. And up ahead, Thomas, wide open lane to the rim for two. Oh, him, he's the, he's the point guard. Get back. Young kid, but you've got to get back. Can't give him easy on that. That's the type of consistency and focus that Fran McCaffrey's been it's, talking about. Yeah. You know, he's a different player every 30 seconds. You don't want that. Wow. Bohannon, catch and shoot. Yeah, bad shot. A couple of odd bad shot selections shot. for Iowa here. Yeah. Up big. Yeah, they don't need these right now. Fallon Wagner, his third. Monte Morris, great uh, five. Well, he's just, I mean, he's going to find folks. Obviously, he's got an awful lot of time. You know, looking ahead, perfect pass. And that's why you can't turn it over. Live ball, rebounds, a wide coaches have their own employment line. Gray hair starts to really yeah, build. Five in a row for Iowa State. Burton can't make it seven. Would have been a big shot it there. Would have been. It's a very good, very good Iowa State team. You just can't quite get over the hump. But if they continue to take the shot selection at Iowa State, they may, be, they may help them get over the hump. Let's see if they can sell down and get a good shot this time, Jason. Pemsel pushed out and a foul call. Looked like a no, way from the ball. A great, great post up. Great post up. Inside hand into the lane. Really good play on Jock. Really good job by Peter Jock. Against Monte Morris yeah, I, here. Look at this. I love it. Just throw the up to him. He's got him for a layup. Good play. Jump shot. Nope. Can't deny him there. Jock slicing through. He's on the hunt for offense tonight. No question. Luau Ding, I'm trying to think of players like him who have to be students also. But my point is that, you know, I, I do like him. Couldn't get it on the overplay. Burton the slam. Can do a lot of things, including that. Not all of us can do those kind of things. Very versatile player, yeah. Deontay Burton. You'd like to have him as a coach, that's for sure. 
Two-man game, Jock and Bohannon. Bear the rebound in traffic, oh. and it'll be Iowa ball. Clean play, they say. You have Big East on your mind, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I, I play on, boys. <laughs> Did he bleed, Jason? Did he bleed? Didn't look like it. Let's see. It's a good rebound, I know that much. You right could make the argument that there's a foul there. Ooh. He's got another one. Bear yeah. the offensive rebound again. Mr. Activity, I told you. I was working guy in practice yesterday. Really like him. He's playing out on the court today against Iowa State. Ah, bad Jock. Pass. High risk pass. Morris where he's so dangerous. Second chance and a foul. Holden going up. We'll head to the free throw line when we come back. Deontay Burton trying to build a rally for the Cyclones who were down 15 at the break. They've shaved into it now with a slam from the NCAA tournament. Iowa State hoping to get there again as well under second year head coach Steve Prohm. 12 point game, Holden at the line and he has the first. Well, I, I, I think it's poor shot selection, but I'm not gonna not give credit to Iowa State. I think the defense is just stepping up a little bit, double teaming Peter Jock to get the ball out of his hands. Let's see how this transpires, but you know, you, you get into those moments where Big lead, you just can't let it get away easy. Here comes the one, two, one, one. You like that choice? Yeah, I, I, you know, but I, I'm not sure. I don't like float passes. I really don't get pressure. I like direct pass and, and attack it. If you don't attack it, they're going to keep pressure. They don't pay a price for it. I always felt you had attack pressure. Brady Ellingson on the court now for Iowa. Nice pass. Oh, the drop off, and Pemsel snuck in. Well, you know, Ellingson's a terrific shooter. I mean, his reputation is a great three-point shooter, a real good play that time. He had a three in the first half. 75 total points last year. He's up to his minutes certainly this year as Burton takes an early three and Morris tracks down the rebound. Yeah, can't get beat to the ball like that. But give Morris credit, he hunted it down. One of five seniors starting for Iowa State this year after they lose George Niang. Morris floats it up, pims on the rebound. And chipped by Bear to him. That's what we like about Bear. That's why coaches go to the uh, film room and see those kind of plays. And that's why you want to keep that guy on the court. It's always going to reflect in the stats. We were talking about Lute Olson. He is actually here tonight. Lute Olson, the man who helped build this arena in 1980. He's special here. coach. Yeah. Special coach, Jason. I got a chance to coach against him three or four different times. I got a chance to know him very well. Obviously, he's been inducted to the Hall of Fame, but a special guy and was a great, great coach. And, you know, because he's in the West, I, there was always a little bit of bias. We never heard much about him. But one of the great coaches of all time, in my opinion. Had some outstanding players as well. Oh, he was a final four coach yeah. here in 1980. He lost to the eventual champs, Denny Crum and Louis. Thomas swatted away. Ellingson and Baird together on the defense. And out of bounds to Iowa. I might say to the official in that case, you know, in New York City, that might be assault and battery. <laughs> There's Lute Olson, two-time Big Ten Coach of the Year, with the uh, the old rendering of Carver Hawkeye Arena. Oh, yeah. He was the guy that helped build this arena which has been around and holds up very well this is the first time you and i have been here and it's uh, it's an impressive place. it's a beautiful place and you know what it has size it's got great noise factor and as much anything else it feels like a real gym even though it's big 15,000, it has a nice feel and closest to it i love being on top of the game obviously we have pretty good seats Thank you, ESPN. Yeah, uh -huh. but I mean, it's it's a wonderful place. When was the last time you had bad seats at a game? At a basketball Coach? game, had to have bad seats for me. Yeah, because that's like, you know, some guys go to church. I do on Sunday mornings to mass, but this is my other mass during the week. Going to a game, I love the game. I love watching the kids play. And after a while, when you meet these kids, watch them practice, you start rooting for them. You look for the game too. I have a feeling you've never been in the back pew. Normally, you're <laughs> right up front. I would guess. That's a working way to that front two. <laughs> Nine players have scored for Iowa. Burton throws it right off the leg of Bear. Nice gets a boomerang back and a slam for Young. Weak side, Bear makes a good play. Weak side goes to sleep, gives up the dunk. You said it before, concentration. Every possession. A very young team. Three Easy. freshman starters, two off the bench some days. You know, there's a lot of reasons for those things happening. But to be honest with you, as a coach, <laughs> it's still mistakes, and you got to try to get them to limit their mistakes. 
Shot. 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 Buries the three. He'll shoot from anywhere. That's deep. And that's pretty special. 19 for Peter Jock on an average of 23-9. Drew Burton to Thomas. Good defense. I love that defense. Jock got right into him. Now Thomas turns the corner. Burton nice had it tipped out of bounds. Four to shoot. Yeah, they closed the middle down very well. Secondary defense made a great play. So Peter folks, Jock. do you think Peter Jock has a little bit of range? He wasn't in half court, but he was heading that way. <laughs> That's a great shot. Good in touch. You said you liked watching him shoot in practice and shoot around. What do you like? What stands out? Every shot's the same. I mean, I mean, he's learned how to become a great shooter. Coming, and I know because I've had some kids from the Sudan play for me. And, and to come that distance, okay? Yep. To do what he's doing. I mean, the kid's made himself into a basketball player. I guarantee you one thing, and I don't know this, he's probably never had a quote a coach to teach him. Yeah, prior to Fran McCaffrey here, right? To get into college. I mean, it's amazing how good he's become. By the way, he's become really good in three years. A terrific looking shooter. Good pass. Bear, off the bounce. Good pass. Moss. This place would have gone crazy if that went down. Yeah, still got plenty of time, long game. 16 points, 12 and a half minutes, and Morris fouled. Yeah, bad foul because he, he just said you just have to take that arm out of there. Take your hand out of the cookie jar. They all get their hands in it. You're not going to make that steal against Morris. Well, dessert's always tempting. No Saturday, question. 315 Eastern, Old Big 12 rivals, Nebraska and Kansas from Allen Fieldhouse. Then after that one, number five, Duke and UNLV in the hashtag Neon Hoops Showcase. From the new T-Mobile Arena, first time since 91 they've played. Both games streaming live on the ESPN app and on Watch ESPN. Now you're up 16, Jason. This is a full time in the game. It's, there's no idea, time, clock, possession, none of that kind of stuff. And you want to make sure, you can, can I, I don't necessarily, I'd love to increase it, but can I sustain this type of margin? Shock is going to get what, called what, for what that foul. I've, I've talked a lot about that. If I initiate contact as the offense, why is it his foul? Well, if you're in that personal cylinder, well, the defender. Yeah, I think he came into Jock's personal cylinder. So you make the call. Well, <laughs> but you know, he didn't extend the no, arm. No, he didn't. He shoulder. He kind of bumped off of him, but it's not. You know, it wasn't full extension of the arm. No, it wasn't. Normally, that gets called. I, I, I just have a tough time with. with I, I do want to have less contact. I don't want to make it a fist fight all the time. But conversely, I think it's got to be a way in which I can play defense. And if a guy throws his shoulder into me and misses contact, it can't be my fault. So you don't want you don't want more 55-54 overtime games like Iowa State and Cincinnati no, had last I, week. No, I do not want that. I like Cincinnati though. No more rock fights. Boy, I, I like Cincinnati. Mick Cronin oh, has done an outstanding I job. I mean, they play the way they play, and that's a good thing. Ellingson, 12 to shoot. Good defense. Ewell on Young. The defense is picking up. No jock, the defense picks up to him. Ewell missed it. Yeah. Ewell's not jock, he's a very good player. Blue guy, probably don't want him taking the shot at the end of the shot clock. So many other things that he can do. Weiler bad. Hands the three. Iowa State's within 11 now. Didn't have a good possession last time for Iowa. Need a better possession. I know, I know Fran's trying to make sure he gives this guy's a rest, but... There's a turnover again. Yeah, Weiler Babb against Moss for two. He's got five in a row, yeah. and it's a single-digit lead. You take Jock out of the game, you got to get the timeout. Fran McCaffrey said before the game, he said, I like to have my guys handle it on their own, but sometimes you have to call a timeout, and this is one of those times in a rivalry game Fran McCaffrey uses one. He can smell it. He can smell it. He was shifting pretty quickly. Right Bad possessions by Iowa kind of fed defensive intensity, which led over to the offense. And without Peter Jock in the game, who's back in now, by the way, it makes a big difference. They need someone better to run the team. And, 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 you, and he draws people. When he's in the game, they're always aware of him, which helps. Bohama's back in the game, too. Yep, the point guard, yeah. the freshman from Marion, Iowa, the Iowa Mr. Basketball from last year. Jock trying to find that shot yep, again. 
Seven to shoot for Iowa. Jock for three. He got it! That's why he's tough sitting. <laughs> because not only that, he draws folks. You know, he's, he obviously makes shots. He's a terrific player. But he draws people. He had 42 in a game earlier this year against Memphis. And, and when you see him, you know why, right? Oh, boy, yeah. yeah. He, now that he can get his own, be very play. difficult to shut him out off the hesitation there. Weiler Babb has seven in the second half. By the way, that was a big time. Yeah. Ten-point game for Iowa. It was 17 very early in this second half. Good pass. He's gonna, they've got to take advantage of, 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 of attacking the closeout. When, when they double jock and, and, and hammer that guy's have him, can't go sideways to go to close the rim and find somebody. It's on the opposite side from Jock now. It's Ewell's going to have to shoot two to get it up, and he missed it short. Yeah, bad, bad end of the possession. Bohaman should have never given the ball up. And secondly, when he's thrown the ball, a closeout came, he never attacked it. Attack, closeouts. Someone's running at you. See where Iowa State goes here, taking down to nine and a half to play. Can't open look. Can't leave him open. Three. You could have called that, but before he called it. I did. I didn't play angle he was it. waiting for it. Was. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 that can't happen. The defense they're playing, they're not playing quite as good right now. Bohannon ridden and fouled by yeah. Jackson. I'm going to so show him I'm, I'm completely neutral. I, don't, I wouldn't have called that a foul either. Iowa State sneaking back in this game. It's a seven point lead for Iowa in a 70th meeting. I won't get one wings are the best. Now I love the taste of free. It's starters on the floor predominantly. Last 14 points for the Cyclones coach have come from the relievers for Iowa State. They have, but as much as anything else has come from the defensive effort. They've turned them over a couple times. And most importantly, I say confidence has come from a lot of places on a basketball court. The most visible is offensively. When you start locking folks down, you start feeling better about yourself. Wagner left it short. Iowa State on the run with Weiler Babb, who's really spearheaded it offensively with seven in the second half. Yeah, he's done a good job. The pitch is time to provide now for Iowa State. From the football powerhouse, Arlington Martin, and he tipped it out of bounds. Weiler Babb, it's Iowa ball. I'd like to see Jock. He's a terrific player work on defense, too. You think he's NBA caliber? I do. Well, a guy can shoot like that. There's no reason as he gets a little stronger. And he's just going to his game with it. That kind of touch, hard to believe someone couldn't use him. 30 or more points three times already this season out of nine for Iowa. And the Cyclones have their first turnover of the second half, about 11 minutes in. Wagner. Nice pass. Oh, he jammed no, it off the leg of yeah. Penzel. He saw him. I saw him go to throw it. And oh, he softened up in that pass. You gotta watch the great quarterbacks, Tom Brady. With tight end three yards away, exactly. you don't have to burn a hole through him. No question. You're a Patriots fan. <laughs> don't hide it. I don't hide it. Why, <laughs> why should you? Why hide the very best? It's a good time to celebrate them. <laughs> We've had a lot of good years. Yeah. 16 straight. Uh-huh. Seven-point lead for Iowa is we Wilder got a ball game. Eight minutes to go, we got a ball game. A conversation with his coach. Eight to shoot. Yep. Monte Morris against the freshman Moss. Off the screen, Morris to the rim, left it short. Pure speed, just had to put his head down, keep his head up and finish that play. Nice play. Moss to the rack for two. Freshman from Chicago, Isaiah Moss expands the lead tonight. I love that. The attack. When in doubt, attack. Inside, Young, no. Bowie the rebound. He wants to go. Missed it. Third try for Iowa State. And right. it's Iowa basketball. I thought they were going to try Then he couldn't get his foot right. Three seconds was an option, too. Iowa trying to hang on, leading by nine as Maud. Yeah, and and a good idea. I'm sure they will. And, 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 you know, at this particular point, you can't have a couple empty possessions. I'm talking about Iowa State now, who have come back, I think, because of the defense. They've really done a good job defensively, forcing Iowa to take some tough shots. They've been bailed out a couple times, some really good plays. But this is a very important part of the game. This is about the time, not thinking yet, but I want to know 
kind of, let's make sure we have good possessions. We'll run an attack, and that's my big thing. You got to attack pressure. Let's see what they do here. Iowa State showing pressure. Soft pressure to make him take time. So handed across, 20 to shoot. Against a defense that's much improved this year for Iowa State, at least through eight games. They were last in the Big 12 last season, trying to hold off Iowa on this possession. Wow. Shot, quick move, past Burton. And yeah, he, he lost stumbled his a little bit. He lost his, a terrific move, just lost his step. But you like the move. You like the move to the rim. Well, he's never going to get shut out in terms of shots. He no, really is finding And, and he's trying shot. to initiate more tonight. He looks more aggressive, which I think is good for, uh, for Iowa. Thomas off the screen from Burton. Good defense. Inside Bowie. Couldn't get it to go. Nice play. Oh, what a tip by Bear. That's my guy, Mr. Activity. The energy is through the roof for Bear. Here's Moss. He's missed a couple of those wide open early in the shot clock. Yeah, too. but I, I didn't mind that one. It was a good kick out. I always find threes of percentage wise are much higher on the kick out pass than in post to the dribble. Up nine, you like that? So put, time's not a factor yet, so yeah, it's okay. These become big defensive possessions. Be true yeah. long, turn the corner. How about that on the gas pedal? Tell you what, he's gone to the rim two or three times tonight. And he, he goes full speed. You gotta like him. Naz Mitru Long, who was out with a hip injury for the balance of last year, back now for Iowa State. They're going to give him the shot, looks like. Bohannon sinks it. Mistake. <laughs> but he hasn't been shooting well. At that time, he was naked. They're going to play him some. Jordan Bohannon, his second three and a big one. And he's been struggling from the floor. One to five before that. Mitru Long on the freshman Bohannon trying to answer. Chuck. Great play. Could have been a travel. No, no. Because he still has to establish his feet. He's hurt. He's hurt. Jock ran into pencil on that rebound. I'd call a timeout. I may even call a full timeout. He just banged. Yeah, he's walking. Yeah, right I agree now. with you. Fran doesn't see it, I don't think. Well, now he's, he's running the, ball, the baseline. He's going full speed. <laughs> it's amazing. When you go to shoot, all of a sudden, the injuries go away. He gets rid of it. Bear for three. No! I'll tell you what, everything but in. Iowa State was looking down the barrel of maybe the mortal blow there. Uh, you know, it's a good point. But now I'm starting to just gaze at the clock. Not a factor yet, but I want to gaze at it. That goes down. That's a big thing. Here's a look at Jock on the collision but going watch, for the watch rebound. Watch this rebound. Just balance, and then he gets rid of it. Ah, it's a heck of a play. The more you see him, the more you like him there. You know what? If this is the Iowa, if, if this is Iowa, if this is real Iowa. If this is real Iowa, look out. Things gonna get better. How about Peter Jock? Oh, I love Peter Jock. I told you, I love his effort. I love the fact he can shoot from distance. I love the fact he has the ability now to put him on the deck and get his own. That's a big deal. Peter Jock, nine out of 17 today. 22 points, 18 last year in the loss, 83-82. It was a 20-point comeback for Iowa State last season. Monte Morris, the game-winning floater to win. It's, Jock still doesn't look perfect. He looks a little ginger yeah, after I agree that collision. I don't think he's going to come out in this game, though. We got a zone going, one, two, two. Yep. Don't know if I like this. Thomas got a shot. Well, they got the right guy to shoot it, you know, honestly. And he's going to foul Bell Bohannon. Foul. He just fouled him. A frustration foul. You don't need that now. If that's one on one, don't give him a basket. And that's what I always say. So we're at 90 feet from the hole, and you think, what are you going to do? Right? No one on one. Six fouls. Yep. Sports Center at night tonight. Stan Barrett has it for you. Updates and a full breakdown of Raiders and Chiefs, college hoops, oh, I don't NBA, like the pass. NHL. There's the attack, though. Sports Center at night coming up, and there's two and a foul. If you attack pressure, they will press you. If you don't attack it, they don't pay any price for it. Terrific, terrific drive. I love the fearless drive. Watch this. I love it. That's a freshman, Isaiah Moss. Yeah. A freshman who's going who's to be pretty good in this game. He's, he's playing maybe one of his best games thus far against quality competition in a big rivalry game. He had 21 points on Monday night, a career high against Stetson. He's feeling good about himself right now, as well he should. Double figures for the third time in his very young career. Well, they missed some foul shots. I hope they'll come back to bite them. 
you got to make these down. You know, still, we're getting to a stretch time. You want to get every point you can. And you like the free ones. <laughs> They're going to have to do it from the line, too, if it's a close yeah, game. Good point. Morris for Thomas. Zone collapses. Really extended out of the shooters right now. Good job. This guy looks good. Nice Burton pass. had a now, tipped and stolen. Good, good stop that. Now do you slow it down if you're Iowa? Uh, I, I don't, but I'm not looking for a quick one. I'm definitely not looking for a quick one with four minutes to go. I'm not looking for that screen either. The main reason, yeah, you don't you don't want that. It would lead to a shot as well. Exactly right. Let's see what they want here. Jocks, nice post up. Across the lane, tipped out to Moss. One step to the corner. Nice rebound. Moss slides in for two more. I can see him sliding down the lane. So, I mean, uh, I love the fact they hunted down the ball. Good close out, big guy. Pemsel out on Mitru Long, and got? this is, what do we have? I don't know. Offensive foul. I don't know, what do you think? It's close. It was very close. Bohannon draws it. 14 point lead for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Three and a half to go. The young kids doing it. Tweeting out a scouting report. He had full <laughs> rosters and everything. You can follow him at Jay well, Billis. Uh, Burton pressure. couldn't take it away, and so Thanks. Iowa will come back up court. But congratulations to the managers. It's a big thing. It's sweeping the nation. The manager games it's all over the place. Yep. And, and he said last night, Coach, the real game starts tonight. I said, OK. That's the real game of the series. Bohannon oh, got it on the rim. Play. And, and Burton collects it. It's going to be a foul. What, bad foul. Pemsel in the corner. But he's hustling, so it's hard to say that. You know? Oh, it really is. I mean, you don't want to detract no. from. <laughs> he's been Exactly, but he's trying to get the kid to be aggressive and he's, maybe freshmen don't know that. The thing I wouldn't want here, I, I don't want to give a three up right now. You know what I'm saying, Jason? So the zone I understand because it's been effective. Under three to go. Iowa State needs a good shot quick. They really do. No, no. Thomas open, one step. Tell you what, it's really, really good rebound, really good rebound. Mitru Long in traffic. This is Iowa State basketball, 2.46 to go. It's a big rebound. I mean, I just think Iowa State's really good. And they're going to pressure more. They almost got it back that first time. So we got a, we got a good 2.46 to go of fun. Mitru Long yeah, sinks the three. Well. That's a good start. Timeout, Steve they're, Brown. They're too good just to run away, trust me. And I do not like the three. You know, I know you can't. you got to get out and drop them. Make them try to take to the rim. Well, Mitru Long knocks that down to senior, but Isaiah Moss, the freshman, has had a mammoth second half for the Hawkeyes. Moss has been awfully good. You know, he's the only young player they have. And we won a few young players. And he has stepped up to exactly what Graham McCaffrey said. Coach, we need someone else beside Peter. And tonight, they've found other people. We, we should have some interest in 244 in front of us then. Yeah, well, maybe not for Fran McCaffrey. He's no, a, you know, no, we don't want the, it to be interesting this at all. In the, old, in the old days, we call it the Maylock time. That's the, right. The stomach is broken. Fran, I mean, you're talking about what he's done. He's one of 12 coaches to take four separate teams to the NCAA tournament. His boss has 11 tonight. And he's taken three one-bid league teams to the NCAA tournament. That's not easy to do. No, it isn't. And he's a very good basketball coach. Bear extended the arm, and this is going to be a timeout, Iowa. Yeah, you know what? I like Bear a lot. I might think about getting, timeout, I don't know if the Williams kid, but someone with a little more, goes a dribble full court. I, I, I want a ball here, and I know people don't like doing that, but I, you know, I don't have any problem with it. If you're Iowa, yep. who's your best bet to have in the backcourt there, all factors considered? What do you think? Well, one of Iowa's weaknesses is they don't have quickness at the, at the guard position, and they can't go by people. Uh, you know, I'd like to see them space a little bit more. Stop catching in, in, in the corners. You know, we used to call that dead man's corner. When he got you there, we used, the, we used the sideline baseline to trap you, so we get two defenders on the outside and two of our defenders on the inside. Uh, be interested to see if they can break it a little better. Fran didn't go anything. Did he, he brought Ellington in. 
So he's putting on the ball handler now. And you remember, too, Iowa's down a man. It's not somebody that would be a major ball handler, but Tyler Cook is out with a finger injury. He broke his finger a couple of weeks ago. And he gets so, a Peter Jock, so he asked me the question. I probably wouldn't have get it across. Ellingson does that. Yeah. The best thing to do is get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? And no need for the shot early. You don't need a shot here. No, this is, you're looking at clock now. Iowa's won 41 of its last 44 non-conference home games. Trying to do that in this series. Five to shoot. Bohan and long three. With that head gone, <laughs> here he comes. Right to the rim. Monte Morris down low. Weiler Babb double clutch. He was more open than he thought he was. You know what? He was avoiding shadows. And I know kids do that. Boy, he's getting ridden. That is out of bounds off of Iowa. Well done by the Cyclones on the trap. I would love seeing that. I thought he got ridden out once again. I have no you dog in the fight. Well, I mean, he went out of bounds. I'd like to see it again, that's all. Yep. Morris. It makes no difference now. you got to play defense. Went down to the screen. Missed the three. Burton got a hand on it. Here's Bo Hannon. All the way to the rim, Bo Hannon. And out of bounds. Iowa State basketball turnover. Hawkeyes a little but bit he made, out of control. He made the right move. When he finds out of control, he's going to get out. He knows by anybody. 145 to go. Morris staggering through. Spun it off. Oh, he has not had luck at the rim tonight. They've had more balls. And that's going to be a foul yeah, against I'm, Morris. I'm going to tell you, and, and, and I'm oh, not going to get only official in the official, but if you let a guy swing back and forth, you can't, something's going to happen. And it's not going to be good. Watch. Foul. Foul. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. He's got to call it quicker. They're trying to foul him. Watch. Right here. Right here. If you let the elbows swing, yeah, somebody's going to get hit. It's not, it's not the kid's fault. Because he's, he's just trying, trying to, to get ball. out of the car wash. Exactly right. That's why they put that rule in. So bear to the free throw line, and he will have a one and one. He'll get a second. I'll tell you what. This kid's, this kid's got uh, two more years at uh, Iowa. Yep. I like him. Redshirt sophomore. Yeah, he, nice long body, 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, Former class president, things. as you said. Yeah. 134. What do you do here if you're Iowa State? Get Go your best look. They're going to give you the rim. There it is. Yeah. Two points for Wilder yeah. Babb. I'm not quite as crazy about that. I understand it. But I'm not as quite as crazy about that. From which side? Well, I oh, it's got to go rim. A lot of teams start jacking up threes. Not yet. You don't need them yet. You just need scores. But most importantly, that was a seven-second score. You we, take that? Yeah. No, get in front of them. Make them shoot a three. And contest it. I always done this in large part tonight due to the three-point shot. No question. Very effective from the three-point line coming in, 10 per game, and they've hit well tonight. If anyone thing beyond their defense, they fed off their three-point shooting. There's no doubt they felt good about themselves, Jason. The more they shots they made, the better they fed better themselves, which led to better defense. This is gonna be, we still got some interest here, 129 to go, a 10-point game. Five separate guys with a three tonight for Iowa. They were gangbusters out of the shoot. Six out of 10 first half, just three for 12 in the second half. And that's part of the reason a 17 point lead early in this half has shrunk to 10. Now, if you're Iowa State, how much pressure do you put on for a steal? And when do you start to foul? Well, too early to foul. I think you gotta get at least one more pos full possession. And if I remember correctly, Iowa's a pretty good shooter. Should be a good foul shooting team. They have good foul shooters. Iowa for the year is 69%. Peter Jock has been exceptional. He's 47 out of 51 from the free throw line, over 90%. He was 85% last year. So if there's anybody you want to have the ball, it's your senior, Peter Jock. No question. Better, better set that time. Better set that time. Ellingson trapped. Bohannon a little high, and Bear collects it. He's got to get rid of it. And there's the foul. Well, he's got to get rid of it to a 90% foul shooter. I mean, I love Bear and all stuff. Turn square and look, and you have the best foul shooter probably in the league over here. Not that I like sure things, but I like sure things. Oh, you take it. <laughs> as best you can. Take it if you can get it's it. It's all about percentages. It's good work if you But can I'm not going to criticize Bear much. He's been a big difference in this game. A huge get the asset. Points. Oh, yeah. yeah. First one is good for Bear, who came in 14 out of 20 for the year. 70%. Two 
Two for two. Back to 12, 70 58. Thomas for three. That's a big time shot. Yep. Timeout, Iowa. My That's microphone went away because I got so excited. I put my yeah. hands up in the air saying they're going to get a five second. Were you ever mic'd up on the sideline? You ever do that? I, I advise them not to do it. That Actually, been we did. When I first got to Connecticut, the local news channel said we'll try to. I love rivalries. We could feel when we walked in the building. You can I sense it, it, right? Certain places oh, you can sense it's special. The building. It's special. It means so many things to so many people. So two free throws every time of the foul from Iowa State. Double bonus time. They're going to clean, I assume, that backcourt out. Nice play. Get it up. Jock up ahead. Moss tracks it down. He gets two and a foul. My goodness. And there's no question. Don't dribble it out. You've got to lay up. Get to the rim. Tyler making foul shots in that layup. And now he can make a three-point play. I like what they did. And Wilder you know, back great, got caught in between. Great job of throwing out of bounds. Switching the out-of-bounds man. I love that pass. Back to the same guy up the court. Nice job, by, Nice job by Grand is, is coaching staff. I guess he can still coach. I think <laughs> He's so. He's a very good coach. 20 wins the last four years. Seventh season here at Iowa after time at Siena. UNC Greensboro. Under a minute to go. Weiler Babb, it faded on him. Rebound for Bear. He'll go to the line. And the energy builds again in Iowa City for the home team trying to get back to 500 after a scuffle of a first month. You know, everybody feels good. <laughs> but most importantly, the people in Iowa just took a collective. We got a chance. Deep breath. Guess what? You do have a chance. I mean, the way these kids come out here to, to focus in, to focus in on playing defense, I'm really impressed with them. And by the way, that team they played, uh, they were really good. Likely a tournament team, Iowa State, certainly. Yeah. But, but Iowa, young team, I'm sure they found a lot of things like now, whatever the next game is. As Morris gets two and a foul. Yeah, bad, bad foul. Get away. If you're going to give it, give it, get away. Yeah, there's no value in that foul for Bear. So 52 seconds to go. 12-point game for Iowa. Well, I mean, everything Iowa probably wanted to do, they've done tonight. They've got to finish the last 52 seconds, but... You impressed by the defensive performance of the Hawkeyes tonight? I cannot. It's not the same team I saw in Tate. not the same team that probably Fran McCaffrey saw. This is a foul. Wilder Babb will yeah, go to the free throw line, and yeah. that hurts Iowa as well. well. It, you know what it is? It, 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 it's a strange game. You just don't need to do that. The first foul will just get away. Foul is on Jock. That's his third. Did Bear get hit or something? Yeah. They're discussing whether or not that was a shooting foul as well, so now they're checking on Bear. Yep. I got a feeling he may be bleeding because they're running down to the end here. Well, according to the Big East official, that should be a foul because he is bleeding. Because he is bleeding, yeah. yes. Coach that will draw bleeding. free throws. Yeah. So Wagner's coming back in. It's round eight for Bear. Yeah, exactly. Max Bear. It's going to be two shots for Weiler Babb. First one is good. Yeah, I, I'm not as crazy. So far, seven seconds to go. I guess that's the coach in me. But a lot of funny things happen on the way to the, you know, on the way to the roundup. Yeah, it's yeah. before you get to the forum. And we know Iowa State's good. I tell you what, right, them, they've had more balls. He's holding the whole lot of the ball as long as he can. Good move. Bad idea to foul Jock. Bohannon trapped right at the midline. He gets knocked down. And that is a foul. I don't like the delay in the whistle. It's going to cause an elbow to hit somebody. He doesn't mean that, but he's got to understand. He doesn't want to call it okay. It's self-defense at but, that point. But the kid is going to protect himself. You tell me when you would have called it. Let's see. There? I, I mean, he gets hit there. the face the first time. There? Until he went down to the floor. You know, the, the, all the great officials, 
talk about preventive officiating. Yeah. You gotta you, you gotta blow that whistle. Just to avoid anything happening. By the way, Bohannon, as a senior in high school, was a 92% shooter from the free throw line. Well, so he's he not really, exactly yeah. the guy you want if you're Iowa State shooting these free throws. Jordan Bohannon. Two for two. Yeah, he's I like this move. Just bring him up to have to get the ball and bounce quicker. Jock the rebound. See if Crum calls off the dogs. Jock up ahead. Moss. What happened? That's a travel. What happened? They're going to call a foul against back, back Iowa here, State. Against, yeah, okay. It's on Monte Morris. Couldn't hear over the fans chanting Hawkeye State. Free throw no good for Peter Jock. That's headline news. Just his fifth miss. He is good to walk. Yeah. Right, he's on his way with 30, which is just fine. Quiet second half. Mm -hmm. Well. But Iowa's had enough. Under 30 seconds now. Thomas in the corner. Morris for three. Out of bounds to Iowa, and this is going to go to the Hawkeyes tonight, Coach. Well, it was predicated on the fact that they come in with a plan. Obviously, you come in every game with a plan, but their plan was to play defense, and they had it because they were getting beat by so many points. A great win, certainly, for the Hawkeyes. And Iowa they needed it. Well, they really needed it. Sometimes that's what happens in games. But Iowa State, good team. This might be a big focal point during the season around. Iowa goes to five and five. Iowa State drops to six and three. Coach, always a pleasure to work with you. Jason was great. great. We got a heck of a ball game and saw the birth of a young team. I, I think we did. 78-64, your final score for our entire crew. Jim Calhoun, Jason Benetti saying good night from Iowa City. Coming up next.